You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio: Tales of a New Dawn. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chant, you are up, and let's go. All right, let's do this thing. All right, got it. What about tails? Whatever do you mean? So my opponent has a large tail and they use that to fight with. Hmm. <sighs> Ty pondered for a moment. For a second, it almost seemed as though a brief look of alarm spread across his face, only to be quickly concealed beneath his usual confident smile. Are you expecting to fight somebody like that? Well, yeah, we met this guy earlier, Russell. Apparently, he's my first heat. He's this big shark dude. Oh, I see. Ty chuckled to himself. He almost looked relieved. Well, I do not have such a tail, so there is little I could do to help you practice. I would suggest a wide, low stance should you expect such an attack is coming. There would likely be a window of opportunity after to get a few hits in as well. Use that opportunity well. Have you fought somebody like this before? I have. Unfortunately, such an opponent is what knocked me out of the tournament last year. I was doing fairly well, too, but this particular opponent had some interesting tactics. Interesting or rule-breaking? Well, the tournament is, has little in the way of rules when it comes to fighting styles. I was perhaps too rigid to face off against such an opponent. I do not believe any rules were broken. I see. I wonder if whoever that was that was participating this year. Hmm, indeed. Anyway, there are a few more techniques I would like to show you, if you would not mind. I'll take any help. Oh, excuse me. I'll take any help I can get. The two resumed sparring for a good while while, dis while following their discussion. Jake. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, guys. I drank a lot of water a moment ago. Mm. Okay. Jacob was learning quickly and was certainly giving Ty a run for his money, although Ty was still clearly the better fighter. Eventually, they wrapped up their training session for the day. Of course, not every opponent will fight the same way. It'll be up to you to respond to their individual style and figure out what works against them in each fight. Gotcha. I'll do my best. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Indeed. What are your plans for tomorrow? To rest? I don't want to be sore and achy on the day of the fight. That is wise. Thanks for the training session, Ty. It has been my pleasure. Jago and I departed Ty's and headed straight back home. Following the training session, I had opted to prepare dinner for the two of us while Diego showered. The best supplement his diet had prepared a steak and a salad with some whole grain rice. Whole grain rice. Whole grain rice. Whole grain rice. It gave me a whole rundown of the nutritional philosophy behind this choice. Salad for nutrition, steak for protein, complex carbs for energy, and to ensure the protein could do its thing. Or something. If I was honest, I completely zoned out part of partway through the discussion. The nutritional science was hardly something I found engrossing. Dinner had already been dinner had been ready for a few minutes and then when Diego returned from the shower. Perhaps in fear of dirtying his freshly shampooed fur, he'd made the deliberate decision to come to dinner fully clothed. Well hey, this looks great. Just what my aching muscles need. Thanks, Brian. Diego gave me a small kiss on the cheek, as he had done two nights prior. I felt my face flush with warmth. I could get used to this. Diego rested his plate of food on his lap and switched on the TV, revealing a new show discussing none other than the upcoming tournament. But the heat's taking place on Friday in the first, pub in the first publicly viewable match, the quarterfinals, being the following Sunday. It is understood that the... Jeez, so soon after? Are you sure you're ready for this? Of course. First prize will be mine. It's what I'd like to say, at least, but truth be told, I'm a little nervous about it all. It was all so sudden. Barely got time to train into train properly. Really, I'm just counting on not having lost too much muscle in the time in the time it's been since I had was regular at the gym. I suppose the overeating has helped preserve it, but that comes with its own set of problems. Diego's gaze dropped to his belly, his face an expression of discomfort and shame. Diego, does does your weight bother you? Uh, yeah, a little. Truth be told, when you asked to come visit, I was already really torn about it. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. Huh? Like, don't get me wrong, I wanted to see you. I so badly did, but it's just, well, you know, I, you know, you know now I've been crushing on you for years. I was scared you'd find me, well, gross. I reasoned with myself that you probably weren't even into me anyway, and I was just being stupid, but... Well, I guess it all worked out. I think you're kind of crazy, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Are you kidding? 
I've been crushing on you for years myself, so long as you're, you know, you're, you're, so long as you're you, you're already perfect. Heh, <laughs> that's really sweet. Still, though, when this tournament is all said and done, I want to keep the exercise up. I want to get back to my old self before all this shit went down. Does that, does that sound good to you? If it makes you happy, yeah. If it may, if it make you happy, I'll be here with you every step. Thanks, Brian. I really appreciate it. Better be ready to train hard, though. I was born ready. That's the spirit. With your help, I'll be built like Lucas in no time. But yeah, admittedly. Let's go back. Alright, so... Oh, I don't think I can label this page. Um, what I want to do is save that part right here. Okay, there we go. Alright. But yeah, admittedly, my self-esteem was kind of shot about it. It was a lot of comfort eating, for one, and... Well, you know, him... He didn't exactly have nice things to say about it either. Do you think that has anything to do with what happened? Honestly, I think what happened would have would have would have happened anyway. I was in good shape when we first got together, and it didn't take him long to start acting up. It's not like I magically got fat one day and he suddenly started sleeping around. Although I don't think it helped the situation. Maybe that's a matter of perspective. Perhaps it would have been more drawn out if I hadn't gained weight. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I suppose that's one way to look at it. He really seems like a completely horrible person. You can say that again. I mean, I kind of understand why, but it doesn't excuse any of it. Oh? What do you mean? He... well, he had a really shitty childhood. He was never much the type to, uh, type to open up about things like that. He always seemed so confident and assertive in the beginning, so it was kind of a shock to hear that just what he was dealing with. I don't particularly care to remember the details, but there was a lot of abuse, from his dad as well as his peers. Him and his mother spent much of his childhood on the run from the dad, living out of a car. There's more to it than that, but suffice to say, his childhood, well... Was shit. But no matter what he went through, that doesn't excuse him. That doesn't make the way he that doesn't make the way he treats people the way he treated me, okay? He treats people as if they're disposable. A means to get what he wants and nothing more. If he wants something, he'll switch on the charm until he gets it, and discard your you like then discard you like meaningless trash once he's satisfied. To him, he treats people as though they're nothing but objects. Their emotions meaningless. The only person he cares about and likely will ever care about is himself, and one day that's gonna bite him in the ass. Jeez, he'd make a great corporate CEO. Heh, <laughs> the Kyrex Corporation keep me the fuck out of it. What do you think a company run by Kyrex would do? Probably cynically pump out crappy products while he lazes in a reclining chair on some tropical beach? Meanwhile, his staff work underpaid overtime while struggling to afford groceries? Damn, are you sure he doesn't already have a company? I can think of several that already fit that description. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, I got a little carried away there. But yeah, his story sucks, but I don't have an ounce of sympathy. Although I suppose I do still pity him. I understand. It does sound rough, but you're right. You can I you can either learn from it and be better in the, and, be the, and be the better man, or you can become a product of it. It sounds as though he's entirely the latter. Yep, and that's why I despise the asshole. Getting into a relationship with him was the biggest mistake I ever made. I wish I wish I'd trusted my gut. Left before it went on with the shit. Before it scared it before it scarred me like it did. I wish I wish I'd say something to tell you all those years ago. Wish I told you how I felt before I left. The first night here in Woodcrest, I'd move all my stuff into my old apartment. It had been a long journey, as you know, and I was exhausted. I had packed nothing, just my just laid my mattress on the floor, found a blanket, and cried myself to sleep. I was kicking myself, wishing I'd said something. I wanted to ask you to come with me, or I wanted to stay until you'd finished your degree, but... I had this plan and lacked the courage to speak up, so I sort of blindly soldiered on without with it. It all hit me that night, that I probably that I probably wasn't going to see you again. I'd let my fear of, well, rejection, I guess, let it stop me from even trying. It's better to regret trying and failing than never having tried, you know? After a while, I pulled myself together, found work, hobbies, settled into life. I grew content in my situation, but that regret never faded. When I met Kyrex for a short while, I thought I'd maybe be okay. Maybe he could fill that void. As you know, he'd only made it so much worse. So, it's like I said, when I got your message saying you were planning to move here and asking if you could stay with me, it kind of felt like fate. You know. It was like I'd fucked everything up completely, but destiny or something was or destiny or something was giving me another chance. Heh, <laughs> sorry, that's really corny. I just I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad all this has happened. It was a tough road to get here, but it all worked out in the end. That's... 
really sweet, Diego, and really sad, too. I don't know what to say. You don't, but I do. Huh? You just say yes. To what? Well, I guess we're... I guess where we're at is sort of ambiguous right now. We're sort of a thing, but also sort of not. We never really cleared that up. I want to fix that. So I guess I'm... What I'm wanting to say is, uh... Shall we make this official? Duh, you idiot! You're goddamn right we should make this official! That's the question I've been waiting four long years to ask, and the answer I've been waiting... I've been waiting... I've been wanting to hear just as long. Aww! Hello, thumbnail. Oh, woo. <laughs> Diego held his arms open, inviting me into a warm hug. Naturally, I obliged and hugged him back as tightly as I could muster. A show of force, I was glad went un unreciprocated as I might have been crushed. After several long and very comfortable and very comfortable moments in this position, Diego pulled back, bringing us nose to nose. He inched closer until our lips connected, resulting in a lengthy, tender kiss. Hmm. Thank you. What for? For being you. For being here. With me. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I'm sorry we didn't do this sooner. There's nothing to be sorry for. I'm also to blame for not having said anything, but I'm not sad about that. I'm happy. Happy that in the end we both got what we wanted. It makes me the luckiest man in the world. I have a boyfriend unlike any other. God. Boyfriend. That term meant, that term meant so little until now. But now, that you're in that, now that, but now that you're that person, it means everything. You know, I think somehow I'm luckier than you are. To me, you're perfect. There's nobody else I'd rather be with. Nuh-uh, I'm luckier than you are. Uh, agree to disagree. Well, you know, I can think of a way we could both feel a little luckier. What did you have in mind? I think you know, if you know you're, um, you're comfortable with that. I, I am. Diego placed his hands on my shoulders and gently lowered me down onto the couch. Next, he wrapped his fingers around my waistband before pausing and looking up to me for approval. Oh my god, how much of this am I going to have to block out? Ah, this video has got to go up today! Ah! Alright, we'll see. We'll see. This, um, uh, hmm. Alright, um. Guys, this video has got to go up today, and it takes a while to edit naughtiness out of the videos, so. I think what I am going to have to do is pause it right here, because I don't think I have time to edit, the, edit these video, this video for now. Um. If I want to get it out on time, so. What I am going to do is I am probably going to just pause it right here. Yep, I'm going to pause it right here. Don't worry, guys. You'll, uh, you'll get Cilio again very, very shortly. So, uh, yeah, I, like, I don't have time to edit this today. So, uh... all right, guys. So what I am going to do is we are going to pick it right back up in the next episode with a little bit of lewdness. So that's something for y'all to look forward to. We got a little bit of it. We got a little bit of that passion and that kiss. So that was just a little bit, little, little taste, you know. A little something, something, a little appetizer, you know, to tide you over until the main course comes around. But yeah, well, you know me. I'm absolutely evil, apparently. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If it's super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!